Very news and David Cornish, Washington Bureau Chief for Mother Jones. Congressman, let me ask you about this. What do you make of this uh, investigation that now that the fact that Comey, the FBI director, is really kind of focusing attention, creating a special section to go into what happened between Russia and the Trump people? So one former FBI agent indicated that this represents a surge in resources. Anybody associated with the Trump orbit that was involved in Russia, financial entanglements, probably was calling their lawyer today, Chris. That's what I make of it. Let me ask you about this other latest bombshell story, that there was a meeting uh, nine days before inauguration between a Bla the Blackwater founder, who's the brother of uh, the person, uh, Betsy DeVos, of course, who was named by Trump to be Secretary of Education. Uh, her brother, the guy who met over, over in the Seychelles with the uh, Putin guy, gave a ton of money to Trump. What is a huge backer of a presidential candidate who has already become a president-elect doing fishing out there, putting together relations with Russia? I don't know whether it's illegal, but it certainly suggests more entanglement between uh, the Trump folks and the Putin folks. Chris, there's so much smoke here. Every smoke alarm in the house is going off. There's so much smoke here, you can't see a foot in front of your face. Listen, this thing is taking on its life of its own. It's gathering speed. It's the Senate. It's the FBI with new resources. And by the way, I have it by word tonight that the House is going to get its investigation back on track. The chair and the ranking member, I believe, are near agreement on a witness list so we can enter the auction. And as I have said all along, I wouldn't be the slightest bit surprised if there aren't also some local prosecutors looking into some things like this. Is the chairman of your committee his own man? Well, Chris, <laughs> I, I am going to give him the benefit of doubt of an opportunity to get this back on track. Okay, but well, I, let joined, me put it this I, I asked him to recuse himself. I think that was the right thing to do. But right now, let's focus on getting it back on track. Well, let me. the reason I asked that is obvious. But I also know from a former member of the House who's now in the Senate once told me that when you go into markup and you actually have to write bills, you can sometimes realize that one of your colleagues is in the tank with some corporation. They just behave, they begin to behave like they're not really their own person. We've seen pretty adequate evidence that Mr. Nunes is not his own person. What's he doing hanging around, picking up the laundry from the White House and taking it back to the White House after he's cleaned it by saying he's an investigator? He wasn't an investigator. He was a delivery boy bringing the stuff back that they gave him and saying it was news and alarming news. If that isn't showboating for the president, I don't know what it is. What do the you best think it was? That, well, I think the best thing that can be said about it is that it's ham-handed. As I've said yeah, all along, sure. I feel like I'm watching a 3D movie. Deception, deflection, and distraction. That's what he's trying to do, but it's not going to work. Well, Kyle, one of your colleagues on the committee, Joaquin Castro, another Democrat in the Intelligence Committee, said on CNN just late today, he thinks some of President Trump's associates, that's a nice word for them, could end up in prison or in jail, he said. Let's watch. I guess uh, I would say this, uh, that my impression is uh, I wouldn't be surprised after all of this is said and done that some people end up in jail. Really? Uh, and, and how high does, does that go in, in, your, in your suspicion? And that's all we could call it right now. Uh, well, that's yet to be determined. You're confident that at least some Trump associates will wind up in jail? If I was betting, I would say yes. And, including some who are still who are working in the new administration, or people who worked or or advised the president during during the campaign and maybe during the transition. Uh, as you can imagine, Wolf, I'll have to comment on that later. But again, if somebody asked me my impression, uh, I would. My impression is that people will probably be charged, and I think people will probably go to jail. Guys, my last question to you: What do you make of uh, Michael Flynn, the general who is na head of national security? Uh, Asking for immunity. Immunity means immunity from prison, basically. He must think something's coming his way. Well, I can only quote General Flynn, who said nobody asked for immunity that hasn't committed a crime. Can I just respectfully disagree with my dear friend? Yeah, go ahead. I want to I want to respectfully disagree with my dear friend Joaquin Castro, next to whom I sit on the Intelligence Committee. He said he would not be surprised if people ended up going to jail. I will be surprised if people don't end up going to jail. Okay, thank you very much, Congressman Danny Hack of Washington, Washington State, right? Yes, sir. Thank you so much. I mean, let's go back to the, uh, these other files. Let me go to Simon first and David. This thing is cohe getting coherent.